suppose I can introduce myself while they're getting the uh, slide up there. I'm Ben Greenup from St. Rita's College up in Brisbane in Queensland. Um, I joined the college there five years ago as an IT AV technician and quickly rose to the ranks of um, e-learning and uh, project management and finally this um, last couple of months the head of IT. So that's been an uh, exciting journey. Uh, a bit of my background is in teaching and multimedia. And um, I'll tell you today about the, the journey that we've taken with Schoolbox over the last couple of years. So um, we started our, our learning management systems when I got there. There was actually a, a collaboration of uh, network drives that were all a mess and folders and folders and quite difficult to use. Um, they had started to transition to a Moodle system, which wasn't working out too well for them. Um, so I implemented a SharePoint solution that basically kept all the documents together and worked quite well. The problem with that was I had determined that it would take me about five years to turn that system into something of an LMS. It was a content management system. Then I stumbled across Schoolbox and saw that it essentially had done my five years of development for me, and so I thought, yay, let's get on with that. And welcome to my SRC. So we called it my St. Rita's College, and for the first year we uh, built up some class pages and um, groups, and in order to get that across with all the teachers, we started um, our school box or my SRC champions. So within each faculty and house group, uh, house area, they all, um, trained up a particular staff member and these lighthouses were able to direct um, all the staff within their team um, how, to, how to use the system. So this rollout strategy worked quite well, but we had in our mindset that we were heading towards continuous reporting because we at this stage only had um, reports released to parents every semester, a printed report that would arrive in the mail and you'd go, hey, that's how you went this semester. Um, so there wasn't too much of a conversation happening. So um, by moving our model towards continuous reporting was what we wanted to do. So we started to look at um, what that meant for us. Um, and I used the model, the SAMA model, to determine what I wanted to actually achieve with continuous reporting. The first level of that being um, to substitute the printed report. Um, before I get there, this is what an English class's homepage looks like at the moment, so um, quite nice looking for them. And I want to substitute their report card. So they would simply get a report like this uh, printed, which told them how they went in each subject. Um, and then when they delve into each of the particular assessment areas for, um, say, English, you could see that there were three items, an exam, and then summarise that overall with a grade. So we determined that um, we wouldn't put weighting on each of the individual items. Instead, we'd put weighting on the item at the end because when we tried it with the weighting, uh, many of our teachers got confused and faculties weren't sure on how that all calculated out. And in spite of all my efforts in explaining how weightings worked in the system, they decided that they'd much rather have it done manually so that they could um, make any adjustments. So um, following that strategy, we come up with this overall assessment um, mark being the only one that counts. Um, an interesting thing I'd like to um, just add after listening to James was that um, with your box and whisker um, place in class, it'd be great if that could be on only one particular item, like if instead of just selecting it per the student, if you could select it by the item. So if I only wanted the overall mark to be the one that had the graph, maybe that could um, be an option. Um, but moving on to uh, rubrics, my other bugbear. And if anyone is interested in working at St. Rita's College in the IT support department to do rubrics full time, I would love you to come aboard. Um, uh, payment may be an issue, but we'll work on that. Um, in Queensland, we have a 15-point scale, A plus to E minus, which looks really great in a syllabus document when they only show the first five um, standards. But when you break that down into all of your 
uh, levels it comes quite a mess. Um, it's only a mess for the person trying to read it. When it ends up in the report, it, it's only going to grab the comment for that particular um, level in that particular um, identifier. So um, we can simplify it a bit by having less identifiers. Um, still, unfortunately, we can't minimize the number of levels as much as I'd like to. Um, social science, we had a similar sort of setup. Uh, they did a few more quizzes and things, which worked quite well. We found a good way with the quiz um, was to have the quiz going. Oh, I've really gone quickly. That time does go. So I'll skip through rubrics, because you're probably bored with rubrics. Music teachers were really good. They um, set up uh, their tasks across the whole uh, term. So that way, uh, it would be really good to go with this project method where you could set up all your different items. So they lots of uh, more assessments, but with simpler rubrics. Simply yes or no, almost. Um, our parents interact with the system quite well. We've got uh, the Digistorm app going um, and some family home pages which I've set up for the parents to look at. Uh, if you've got a better name for family home pages, I've been told that that doesn't mean very much to people. You might call it a parent information, but it's not just for parents, it's for the students as well. Um, so what do you call it? I'd really like some feedback on what to call that. Um, we use the UPS to add all parents to a parent alert um, group, which uh, will alert them on any major changes through the app, so that's worked quite well. Our family home pages, Info matrix, I don't know what you want to call it, um, splits into every section that a parent could possibly want, uh, which has been quite good. The parents are liking that they only go to one spot now instead of all over the place. Sports, I approached it by having um, a, essentially every sporting team a particular class. We had an issue where the head of sport was trying to manage all these documents and who could see it. So I approached it as though these were a group of classes with different levels of hierarchy. So the student just goes in to see their team, but the staff member can add a document for the whole team. Um, the slides will be available after, so I'm sure that'll be fine. If you want any more um, specifics on how we achieved it, that's uh, totally fine. Um, photos was another great way to get uh, students and parents involved. So we have a sister that uh, loves her camera and goes around and photographs every single school event, and she puts every single photo um, up on a series of galleries that looks quite well. So we get a lot of traffic going through with people looking at all the pictures, which is really good. And finally, next year we'll be rolling out continuous reporting for our year eights, which is why I would like that extra staff member. We found that when we um, use the um, submissions, we have uh, I've set up a particular user, a SRC reporting user. That way I can go in and see how every class within that year level is using it. Um, we're going to get more, all of our co-curricular activities brought across to the um, same system that the sports has, and it'll be great to see the fixtures mixing with that. That, I think, will work quite well. To combat continuous reporting, parents have said, oh, but we like to have the printed report to show grandma and grandpa. Yes, that's a really good idea. So we're going to use an academic transcript that can be generated by basically reverse engineering the raw score that the mark book syncs with Synergetic. We're able to get the marks out of the overall task and turn that into a report. We can't get the comments out, um, nor would we really want to because there's no overall comment for the end of semester. So we'll just pull out the um, marks and turn that into an academic transcript. And finally, reporting online through Synergetic is what we're looking uh, to do in the near future as well. So. Thank you.